yene eye openi ba ko ebedi nkomo na yaji ono so ne thought eh ewo eh UCC oye eye lecturer ewo hono Mr John Ansa oye political science lecturer ewo UCC ono so no yene no eni nkomo ye he se ye nsa beka eye Mr Benefson uh, daily dispatch a uh, wasan so eye uh, well known eye uh, eh uh, will be at elections hons and somewhere what you say pa but focus on no ever friend poster you know everything come within the next 15 minutes i want to and to answer i can i get mr ansai and everything come on every center uh and you be i know uh one is no report so who are and i drink chair our report you know i want to at the same now on also at the amaya but maybe she said uh uh, okay, I'm saying yes, I can and come in. You know, any income or your poster was also a the senior editor. Emma, a year the daily dispatch newspaper. You know, any income and are the editor, sorry, of the daily dispatch newspaper. You know, any income. Uncle Ben, good morning. Good morning. Uh, but you're not a pain boom today. Super Joe, new year. But don't want to. Ah, you could come, Uncle Ben. Uncle Ben. Good. Uh, EIU you want report and the to whom come on now? A straightforward question actually, NDC in that the mortar uh, is the NDC looking to revitalize the party with a new candidate? I think that uh, EIU report in is part of a five year report on Ghana. EIU has over the years done well with. They have research on Ghana. I mean, to give opinion polls two and a half years is a bit long. Mm. But I think that one of the reasons they gave regarding Mahama is not far fetched. Mm. I'm completing my seventh book on Ghanaian elections. And one of the reasons I've been doing some work on why NDC lost heavily. Because NDC won 30 of their 32 seats back that they lost in 2016. But the presidential candidate lost by as much as 540,000 votes. Mm. See, that is why perhaps work at the order was this. I mean, if elections were held today to elect mm. a flag bearer for the NDC, Mama will win. Mm. In a year's time, I can't say Mama will win. Anything can happen. Mm. But, you understand. but since this is a 2021 report, now you're discussing 2022, no? are there any pointers at all there, NDC, today, 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 would want to change their candidate? First and foremost, if NDC loses 2024, there will be an inclusion in the party. Mm. You understand. So mm. along the line, it's two and a half years, a year to time. They do a very less one five, but a year to time. Mm. And now a year and a half to time. Mm -hmm. And the grassroots thing, if they change, they will win, they will change. Mm. If they think they can still take Mahama, they will take him. Mm. You know, it's, I think that a year, two and a half years to election or a year and a half, to elect in a flag bearer mm. is kind of too long to be have that impact on 2024 elections. So that is my view of the report. Do you expect the NDC to win the 2024 elections from the EIU report? The EIU report, I cannot comment on that. They are doing a five-year projection. Mm. That's why I'm saying that you can't project two and a half years elections who will win mm. when your main opponent in the political battle is yet to elect his flag bearer when the NDC has not been started party organization at the grassroots because you know the strong electoral machine based on the grassroots organization mm. so two and a half years for me is a long time to be able to make the assessment they are also confident that 2024, the NDC would have a majority in parliament. Is that also a reality for me, for you, from where you sit? You need to bear in mind that they haven't had their primaries yet. Mm. 
the various primaries in the various constituencies because when there are disaffections, when there are attempts to impose candidates, the fallout is people are apathetic. Or you get people going independent to split the vote. Mm. So for parliamentary elections, two and a half years, it is post uh, primaries and the run up to it that will give you an idea whether, because in the same way as uh, NDC won 30 of the 30, 32 seats, they won 30 of the 32 seats, they lost back. If they are pathetic, they can equally lose the same number of seats. Mm. I mean, when you look at the 2020 results, about a third of Ghanaian voters are swing. And mm. that is good for our democracy. And it will be a lesson to any political party who will take the voters for granted. Mm. Now, the MPP seems to still be confident that they will break the eight with this reporter, Waba Alti, you know. Uh, what do you see with one Two and a half years, apart from the coupon, nobody knows what will happen. Mm. You can't go into a battle. I mean, let me give you a typical example. The E levy. If NDC, NDC is saying that people hate it, why are they not allowing MPP to pass so that they hang themselves politically? Mm. The NDC in Parliament is not stupid. They know that in the absence of the E levy to get funding, the government may have to go to the IMF. They go to the IMF, one of the conditions is scrap free system. Because if you think about it, that your opponent, you are saying the E levy is unpopular, yet you are preventing your opponent from passing it. They are not working for the interest of MPP, they are working for their own interest. You understand? Mm. So definitely, I mean, two and a half years is a long time. Mm. Uh, on the back of argument, uh, ADO, if the passage of the E levy in yours to the benefit of the NDC, uh, why why are they kicking against it? Obviously, so maybe, sir, there, if the EIU report says there, uh, with John Romani Mahama, the NDC might lose the 2024 elections. Uh, should the MPP not also be re rejoicing? If that is the case. No, no but I think that I'm telling you, the, the EIU report. Mm. I don't really comment on people, so and you can't do an opinion for two and a half years to next year. Mm. It's unrealistic. Mm. You understand? They are doing their projections part of a five-year report. Mm. Your main opponent is yet to elect his flag bearer. There could be problems arising for the election. Mm. Maybe they will choose a candidate the NDC wants. And there are a lot of there are a lot of ifs and buts. Mm. So you can't do opinion polls two and a half years. If you say you are giving a projection as to what will happen maybe by October this year, fine. But you can't do talk about what will happen in December 2024 in April 2022. It, it's just not realistic. Final question here. Uh, here with Mr. Dufo, Dr. Dufo. Nansen, uh, he's been making some incursions. Nansen will launch a program B to resource the party's base, uh, the masses, not the Mobutu Weji and Wanando. Does he stand a chance? It's too early. He just started. You mm. know, in the earlier convention, I think I said that if elections were held in April 2022 to elect a flag bearer, for December 2022 election, if there's going to be election, Mama will win. Mm. A year's time, I can't say Mama will win. You never know. A year is a long time in politics for mm. this change. My final question. If you had any advice for uh, Mr. Dufo, uh, would you would you encourage him on the path he's going as to seeking the flag bearership slot of the NDC? Why not? Why can't you? He's a member of the party. Why can't you contest? It's just, it's just the 40. But uh, she can contest for the flag bearership of Andy. Mm. Anambua. True. Yes. What kind of do for doing? Nothing stops him. Mm. And there may be one or two more credible candidates. You never know. Mm. Can, can he win an election for the NDC? Hypothetically. 
Pardon? Hypothetically, can he win yes. an election for the NDC? It's too early. You're asking me to guess. And the nature of the work I do, I don't guess. Hmm. Agaban, what do I say? I'm a boy for such a... And I'm a boy for such a... Marty, I did for you. I did for you, Agaban. What do I say? I'm a boy for such a...